Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting and uh, here we are in the studio or should I say in a room <laughs> which I've turned into a studio and uh, I've got a uh, picture of a local scene of uh, the cathedral and uh, the paints are at the ready and to start off with I use a very thin very thin <laughs> with some paint thinner and some French ultramarine blue, some uh, thin paint, and I uh, created the sketch. And then uh, when I was creating the sketch, I was looking at the picture and thinking about the scale of everything. And then you can change things as you go, because when you're using a uh, thin oil, you can just use a bit of paint thinner on the brush and you can wipe out an area you don't like and then start again. So, where am I at? I'm filling in the sky using French ultramarine blue and some titanium white and I'm varying the colours and using sometimes I'm scrubbing it, sometimes I'm using lots of little strokes to create the uh, indication of sky and action. I'm adding some clouds there and one behind the cathedral. We go and then I was using lighter paint as I was coming towards the horizon and that's uh, the sky done and then uh, the cathedral I wanted to be set back quite far away so using a light mixture of uh, French ultramarine the sky color and white and uh, a little bit of crimson just to set that back I'm just I just put in the indication of some distant trees there using the sky colour. There I am some blocking in the colour. It's uh, like I said, it's a uh, alizarin crimson and French ultramarine blue. And using white to uh, lighten that bit, and then darkening the uh, back tower. So there's two front towers, and then there's one behind that. And they, uh, they watch the city. <laughs> I'm just lightening the base there. Now I painted this from uh, an area that I walked my dog and took a photo. I've always liked this view, so it would be a good one to paint. There we go, just tapping in the. Uh, trees at the base using a little bit of crimson in that mixture the same mix that I used for the cathedral but it's a little bit darker only a little bit though and just tap in now I've gone into some uh, a tiny bit of Viridian green in with the same mixture I want to keep it very soft very light in comparison to a foreground so and the closer I get to uh, the foreground, the more colour I start putting in. And now I've gone into a little bit of a light crimson. I'll just put that in here and there to highlight some of the treetops. That's to create a colour harmony in with that and the cathedral. And then uh, using light um, brilliant green of white and some tiny bit of chrome yellow highlight some more of the top tree tops that are there. And just very very small indication of a tree top. Then using a darker colour, start filling in the uh, the area where you can see a few trees that are in front of those ones. So it's a little bit more of the blue and a little bit more of the crimson, a little bit more of the viridian, and just darken it. And uh, it was a, a good day for photography. <laughs> Got a good, good few. Uh, photos that I can use for paintings. This is going to be the one of many, hopefully. There we go. Just 
adding a little bit of a highlight on those trees. Yeah, I'm going to start doing uh, paintings on various subjects. Some uh, wildlife and birds, animals. Of course, there's the uh, all important portraits <laughs> I plan on doing. So the uh, grass area, it's a uh, mixture of viridian green. Um, there's a little bit of blue in with that and uh, chrome yellow and white and just sort of mixed it on my palette till I got it as close as I could to what I was seeing and this dark mixture it's um, brilliant green uh, burnt umber oh no sorry it's raw umber raw umber, viridian green and some ultramarine blue it makes like a nice, nice dark colour and just massing in the shapes. I needed to paint the uh, grass behind because these grow on top and the order of things works quite nicely. I'm just, just blobbing on the paint, looking at the picture Looking, looking up, looking at the painting, blocking in the shape with the dark. Um, I am using a little bit of medium, a little bit of liquid, original. It's a uh, fast drying medium. And uh, <laughs> just moving the camera then. <laughs> I did, uh, the camera did freeze. I'm having problems with this camera. It froze when I spun the screen round, which was really annoying. So I had to spin it back again and then it seemed okay. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm blocking in the tree. Creating that trunk. That's the only really bare trunk there. Out of all the trees, it's the, the only bare one. All the rest have got a lot of greenery growing off it. I'm just highlighting bits. I picked up a tiny bit of chrome yellow just to lighten that a touch. And then uh, get ready for the highlights. Now I'm looking at this tree it had different coloured highlights to all the rest, so I mixed um, a little bit of white in with some tiny bit of crimson and some of the viridian green. And then these were more almost a grass colour, but slightly different. And I was sort of varying it slightly, picking up a little bit of green or a little bit of blue, or a little bit of a uh, tiny bit of crimson. I did that too light, <laughs> so I just darkened it again. In some areas I've just created the indication, the shape, somewhere tapped. Just to get the all all over effect. All I want is the viewer to look and at this and go trees. <laughs> and if if I get that, then I know I've done a good job. As long as they look at it and they in their mind they the mind tells them they're trees, it's okay. So the grass in front was a bit duller, so I mixed a little bit more of the brown in with the viridian of a dirty green <laughs> and in there I just added a bit of crimson just to warm that area up that was a way of for leading the eye in really it's a sneaky little trick <laughs> and that, uh, I'm using some raw umber at the base with a bit of crimson mixed in to make the earthy colour that was in front there's no grass growing in here it's just the earth I'm throwing in some white and some, and some brown I realised I didn't paint that bit, it was just bare canvas that was creating that white cloud. Which is okay really I suppose, but I wanted paint on it. <laughs> now I'm using the liner brush to put in some little grassy bits, little sticks and twigs, those little details, and then 
using some blobs of paint just to uh, give it some action in the foreground. Here and there. That's it, that's the finished painting. Thanks very much for watching this one and uh, I'll do some more and uh, I'll see you again. Cheers.